Joining me now is Professor Yale Eisenstadt from New York's University Center for Global Affairs. She is a former CIA analyst and served as National Security Advisor to Vice President Joe Biden. Thank you for joining us here on BBC News, Professor Eisenstadt. President Trump says the memo shows the FBI is biased against him. Do you think that allegation is supported by what is in the memo? Um, thank you for having me again. Actually, I think, if anything, the memo proves the opposite. It is so cherry-picked from things that we actually already know. We already know that the investigation was launched because of the conversation with the Australians that Papadopoulos had, and yet this memo is trying to build this whole case against Steele. So, if anything, I think it really proves the opposite. But I think the most interesting thing is, if the allegations that the president is trying to put forth that the FBI is biased, well, then why didn't the FBI put this information out before the election? The FBI had been investigating these allegations against Page and others before the election even happened. And they didn't make any word public of any of these allegations until the investigation continued on and through January when the DNI, the director of national intelligence, put out their memo. So I just think it's interesting. If, if really the FBI had been out to get Donald Trump, they could have put this information out in the public eye before we even went to the voting booth. Yes, many people are, are jumping on the timeline, are they? Uh, you use interesting wording there, which is uh, cherry picking. Put this into context for us with your knowledge of the intelligence community. Is intelligence normally treated in such a partisan way as it has been in the last few hours? I mean, I personally have never seen this happen uh, before. In general, even though parties disagree and they have different policy options, when it comes to protecting classified information, protecting national security, those are the types of things that usually do not fall into such partisan showmanship and partisan football like this has been. So I've never seen anything like this myself. And, and I used to coordinate the president's daily brief. I used to also work on FISA warrants and requests and all of these things. And I have never, I mean, from the inside, from when I was in the CIA, I never, ever saw anything like this happening. So the idea that this is not a complete political stunt is just absolutely unfathomable for me. What do you think are the political ramifications for those intelligence organizations being dragged into the mud like this? Well, I mean, I know the men and women inside of these agencies continue to put their head down and do their work, and I know they will continue to do so. I mean, of course, I'm concerned about morale, because these are people who can't stand up and defend themselves, and they can't in any way say what's accurate, what's not accurate. And if you have the American people using their agencies for political mean like this, of course, it's going to be demoralizing. And even more importantly for me, it could perhaps affect even the potential to recruit further CIA and FBI and other government agency employees in the future. So I do think it's a really unfortunate situation for our agencies, but I also have faith that the men and women in those institutions, they continue to serve the Constitution, to serve the American people, and they will continue to do what they're doing. Professor Eisenstadt, always good to get your analysis. Thank you very much. Yale Eisenstadt there joining us from New York.